That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. July 20th, 1969. Humans step foot on another world for the very first time. Very fine grained as you get close to it. It's almost like a powder. And a young man from Seattle is right there with them. The mission was sweet. Jim Jokey was a NASA engineer. My assignment was life support. He helped develop and test the spacesuit backpacks, providing everything needed to stay alive. I got to test out the suits, get pressurized, and do all that stuff. Jim got to know the moonwalkers and their gear pretty well. And I got to play with the hardware that I'm going to be responsible for. He monitored the historic first moon landing, Apollo 11, very closely from his front row seat in mission control. I didn't know where I would be, and then they said, yeah, we want you in the front room because there's two guys out there with backpacks, and you know all there is about them. And we're getting a picture on the TV. I just remember going through that green door. I said, man, okay, I got a lot of responsibilities here. Let us go to the new worlds together, not as new worlds to be conquered, but as a new adventure to be shared. Before Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin could step out of their lunar lander, Jim had to give the thumbs up. Turning on all my systems so I've got data on both of them, watching uh, Armstrong and Aldrin to make sure they're pressurizing, checking their oxygen, there's no suit leaks or anything like that. If the suits weren't operating perfectly, there would be no small step or giant leap. I said, I'm go. With Jim's blessing, history was made by those ghostly figures on a blurry screen. I mean, I looked at it, I couldn't figure out what was going on because I was looking at my consoles. Everybody else was watching the TV for the two hours and 43 minutes. When their walk concluded, Buzz and Neil had to make some room. Because the rocks are more important than my backpacks. Threw all my backpacks out on the lunar surface. So I got 12 of them there if you're interested. Special deal, but we don't deliver. Apollo 11 entered the history books. Yo, God dang it, we did it. And Jim Jokey, engineer, went on to become Dr. Jokey, obstetrician, delivering babies for the next 40 years here in his hometown. He says it's a lot like working in mission control. You've got an individual in the mothership that you're monitoring for a nine month potential launch. He's grateful for his two careers. They're both wonderful. Every one of those deliveries was an individual, and I said, this is just like me putting Neil on the moon. A half century has passed, but Jim Jokey holds vivid memories of reaching for the stars and touching the moon. It was a pretty amazing time.